Bereshit, Genesis 13. And Avram went up out of Mitzrayim, he and his woman, and all that he had, and Lot with him into the Negev. And Avram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the Negev even to Beit El, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Beit El and Ah Ai, rather, and Ai, unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. And there Avram called on the name of Yahuwah. And Lot also, which went with Et Avram, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdsmen of Avram's cattle and the herdsmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaani and the Perizzi dwelled then in the land. And Avram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray you, between me and you, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen. For we be brethren. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself, I pray you, from me. If you will take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up at his eyes and beheld at all the plain of Yarden, that it was well watered everywhere before Yahuwah, destroyed at Saddam, and at Amora, even as the garden of Yahuwah, like the land of Mitzrayim, as you come unto Soar. Then Lot chose him at all the plain of Yarden. And Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Avram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent toward Saddam. And the men of Saddam were wicked and sinners before Yahuwah exceedingly. And Yahuwah said unto El Avram, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now your eyes and look from the place where you are northward and southward and eastward and westward. For at all the land which you see, to you will I give it, and to your seed forever. And I will make at your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number at the dust of the earth, then shall your seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it, and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto you. Then Avram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Shavron, and built there an altar unto Yahuwah.